Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, this is another look at percentage calculations and a couple of scenarios just to um, uh, emphasize how easy it is to do these percentage formulas. This is a, a survey that Fred's done to find out which is the most popular type of uh, movie or popular genre and he's obviously asked his customers and they've fed back these numbers to him and you can see the calculations have already been put in place here and uh, we've even got a chart there that um, illustrates the results of that survey which is a sort of a nice little uh, way of presenting the information right, I'm not concerned with the chart at the moment, it's going to look at the calculations and the first thing I'll do is simply delete out the calculations that are already there and we're going to put them back in so select that list of values and press delete messes up the chart but I'm not worried about that so we'll click into cell C4 which is where the first calculation will go and we begin the calculation equals on the keyboard click on the uh, the first value there in uh, cell B4 that's the number of votes for the drama genre on the keyboard press divide which is the forward slash key I should have mentioned that before but I'm sure you worked it out and then click on the total value and that's the sum of all the the votes cast in the survey okay now this is the point where you need to remember to set an absolute reference on this B11 cell reference now I can do that manual I just delete the B11 there and just show you that if I wanted to you could simply type dollar B dollar 11 just using the keyboard and enter that uh, calculation by clicking the tick there and that works perfectly okay um, obviously if you want to do it slightly more easily you can simply press equals click the first value divide on the keyboard the total of the votes and then this time press the F4 key and the F4 key is simply a shortcut that automatically applies the dollar symbol around the uh, the cell reference before the column reference and before the row reference and that locks the calculation on that B11 cell which is the total value as you'll see in a second so that's really all you need to do again click the tick to uh, accept the formula clicking the tick is pretty much the same as pressing the enter key once we've uh, got that calculation it's a simple operation just to copy the formula down in this case to C9 release the mouse button and it fills in all the calculations for us and if I just select a couple of those you can see in the formula bar it's locked on to cell B11 thanks to that absolute cell reference making life a bit easier for us and of course if let's say uh, our survey gets updated uh, let's say we have a few more fans of romance let's say another 4 come in so we're going to change that value to 24 press the enter key you'll see all the percentage values update as the uh, um, the survey is updated and also the chart is updated as well um, so I'm not really concerned about the chart at the moment but it's a useful feature um, okay that's one scenario I'm going to move to another sheet now and we'll have a look at a different type of example now in this scenario Fred's decided to launch his own little mini movie emporium and he's going to actually show some films on the big screen um, so he's rented a place, or he might have even bought it, I don't know. Anyway, he can squeeze 150 people in there. And what Fred wants to do really is sell, sell tickets, but he also, as he sells tickets, he wants to know what percentage of the auditorium has been filled. That might help him, for example, with his marketing campaign, knowing how much promotion to do, how much to spend, etc. So you can see on the table, again, all the calculations have been filled in but I'm just going to delete all of these percentage calculations and I'll put them back in and you'll see how simple it all is okay select and delete those okay so we've got I, I, by the way I've left this tickets remaining that's just a very simple calculation um, it's locked onto cell B4 which is the capacity of the venue so you can see that's an absolute reference and it simply deducts the number of tickets sold which is a manual entry so as the sold simply update that value there okay so the percentage calculation we're going to work out now the first one is simply going to tell us uh, how much of the the auditorium has been sold um, and so again we press the equals key click on the first value there the first movie and how many tickets have been sold for Greece and we divide that by 
the auditorium capacity, which we know is 150 up there. So simple formula equals C7 divided by B4. And again, remember, press the F4 key sets that as an absolute reference. Click the tick to accept that. And then we're going to copy that down. And this time I'll just do a little uh, trick of double clicking, put the mouse pointer bottom right of the cell as usual, but double click and that runs the formula all the way down the rest of the table there. Okay, so you can see how popular or unpopular each of those movies is. Bear in mind, obviously, the, the ones of the later dates might not have sold enough tickets. So um, Fred might not be too concerned about that. Okay, that's one calculation. The other one is simply to work out the percentage of tickets remaining to be sold. Okay, so we know how many have been sold. Just want to work out the remainder. Now, obviously, we could simply do very quickly uh, equals 100 minus 85% gives us 15%. We know that. Um, you can probably work it out at the top of your head, but I just want to show you how to create the calculation should you need to do it. Um, it basically follows the same pattern as all the other ones, so start with equals on the keyboard, click on the relevant value to start with, which is the number that you're interested in finding the percentage value of, which in this case is the first ticket's remaining number. For Greece, again, divide on the keyboard, forward slash key, click on the capacity of the venue, press the F4 key, click on the tick and we get 15% which we could have worked out anyway probably manually um, again I'll just double click there on the bottom right of that cell I'll sort of run the formula down the rest of the entries and you can see it 37 plus 63 is 100 etc um, those are just a couple of simple examples and again uh, you can see I'll just scroll down there you can see the chart that's linked to that data um, if I just zoom out to show you all that, and if I just update one of these values, uh, Citizen K at the moment is at 50%, you can see that on the chart. So if we just move that to say 105 tickets sold, what you will see obviously is the 50% value for uh, capacity sold change, the balance change, and you'll also see the chart update. So I'll press the Enter key this time and you'll see all those values update as I do that. So it goes to 70 sold, 30 remaining to be sold, and 70% sold appears in the chart. And there you go, that's a couple of simple examples. One final thing I'll show you very quickly. If you just want to build a, a percentage calculation into a manual formula, so you want to very quickly use Excel as, as, a, as a calculator, if you like, you can do that. So let's say I've got the value 80, and I want to find out 17% of that. I can simply type, as a longhand calculation, equals 80 and press multiply on the keyboard this time and what did I say 17% so we're going to type 17 and then simply type the percentage symbol as well so we've got equals 80 multiplied by 70% click on the tick this time and we get 13.6 is the answer so you can actually just use Excel as a simple calculator by typing a formula in longhand and if you want to incorporate um, a percentage as part of the formula simply type the number and to make it a percentage value you simply type or hit the percent key on the keyboard which is shift and five in case you weren't aware of it okay that's uh, those percentage examples hope you found those useful um, thank you for watching again thanks for all the feedback and rating much appreciated and uh, I will see you in the next video